Since we properly filtered all the proxy host domains in the previous lessons, this step should proceed smoothly without errors. You'll get the success message after everything is set up. The fishlet is ready to go, and we have had no errors up until this point. Now create a new lure by typing lures create Snapchat. This will generate an integer value for this new lure. You will use this number to reference this specific lure in the future. So since my lure value is 5, I can grab the URL by typing lures get URL 5. This is the actual phishing link. This is the link that will show up in the browser and the one we'll be copying. Copy this link to your clipboard. I'm going to open up a new browser tab and paste the lure into the URL bar so we can finally test the fishlet and see if it works. You can use either a regular tab or an incognito tab. Let me split my screen so you guys can see what's happening from both perspectives. Let's see what happens. So on the left, Evil Jinx worked as expected, and you can see the landing URL along with user information captured from the browser and the victim. This confirms that our fishlet is functioning at a basic level. Also, the login page loaded perfectly. The rendering shows that our setup is effectively proxying requests without breaking functionality. Now I'm going to test the actual login flow to ensure everything else is working as intended. If something breaks, we may have to go back and modify the code, but everything looks good so far. So I just put in the demo account username and clicked login. Let's see what happens. Okay, the login worked. No redirections or errors. Now on to the password. Man, I keep forgetting the password for this account for some reason. I always do this when I'm recording live sessions. Bear with me, guys. And let me click next, and let's see if we're all good. Okay, we have run into our first issue, but this is good. It's a normal part of the debugging process. After entering the username and password, we clicked login and received an error that killed the session. While this might seem like a setback, it's actually a sign that the fishlet is partially working as Evil Jinx successfully captured the credentials on the left. This tells us that the proxy hosts and authentication capture works. Let's open the network log to figure out what went wrong. We can see the red X marking a failed request, which returned an error. This is a critical issue with how the fishlet is handling this request. Looking at this request in the payload tab, we can see why it failed and why we need subfilters. The continue parameter points to the main accounts domain, which the session tries to redirect to after authentication. Evil Jinx hasn't rewritten this request correctly, so it's still trying to connect to the real Snapchat domain. And we don't want that since our fishlet doesn't handle this yet. It leads to the error. Without dynamically rewriting this request, the session will break and the user is redirected to an error page. So we need to go back and configure subfilters. This ensures that requests are dynamically rewritten to our phishing host name. Pause the fishlet and quit Evil Jinx for now as we have more work to do. Since we ran into an issue, I'm going to quickly log into Snapchat again with the network tab open. I'm going to fast forward this part so we can jump right into the next step. 